Hello everyone, this video will talk you through Dorset coastline, um, which you would use as an example of a section of coastline in the UK to identify its major landforms of erosion and deposition. So on the screen here you can see a map of the Dorset coastline. Now with the Dorset coastline we can classify this as two different types of coast. The first type we have is our concordant coast. So this means that our different rock types lie parallel to the coast. So we can see that in the diagram, because for example, we've got Kimmeridge clay, the orange colour. Then stacked behind that, we've got the Portland stone in the purple. And then lower Purbeck in that slightly greyy colour. Okay, so all of our geology changes the further we move inland. And then we also have what we call a discordant coast. So this is where our different types of rocks lie vertical to the sea. So here in this case, we've got lots of different geologies touching the sea, which is different to our concordant coast. So this influences the type of landforms that we find in these areas. So the first landforms we find, and if we stick with looking at our discordant coast here, is old Harry's rocks. Now on the Dorset coastline, these are found at Hanfast Point. So the cliffs around Old Harry's Rocks are made of chalk. Here, wave refraction causes erosion of the headland and deposition in the bays either side. If we've got deposition in the bays either side, we're likely to be building up beaches there. So here, the cliffs are eroded when the waves undercut the land, which causes the rock to collapse. So caves are formed where cracks in the chalk are expanded. So that could be through processes like hydraulic action or abrasion. Caves open up then through the cliff and they form arches. And the top of the arch can collapse because of weathering. So processes like threes, four, for example, where the water gets into the cracks and it expands, causing the rock to shatter, would weather the top of the arch. So when this collapses, this leaves behind a stack, a bit like the one I've drawn a circle around in the picture. The stack that I've drawn a circle around in the picture is called Old Harry. Now with Old Harry, eventually the top of the stack here will also be weathered and the bottom will also be attacked through erosion. And you can't really make it out in this picture, but at about sea level, there's a stump. And that stump is formed through all of those processes I just said. So the weathering of the top of the stack, the undercutting at the base, and the stack in this case is called Old Harry's Wife. So if that's caves, arches, stacks and stumps, otherwise known as Old Harry's Rocks at Hanfast Point, we can then start to move further back down the coast. And we can look at the other processes and other landforms that are occurring here. So, Further along the coast then, we have Lulworth Cove. Now, with Lulworth Cove, it's important to remember that our coastline here is concordant. So, to recap, this means that the rock types lie parallel to the coast. So here, the sea has broken through the narrow strip of hard Portland limestone and has been able to erode the softer wielding clays that are behind. Now, they've been able to erode the clays because they're less resistant. They can put up less of a fight to the erosion. So this is what's formed that circular bay that we can see in the picture. Now, that's not to say that the erosion has stopped, because in fact it hasn't. It's now starting to erode the next band of rock behind. So it's now starting to erode that harder chalk. So if you look at the picture... That white coloured chalk at the background that I've just drawn a circle around, that's now where the sea is attacking. So eventually that bay is going to continue to expand further inland. And then if we take all of the knowledge we've got so far, we can apply it to what's happening here at Durdle Door, which is just out of shot on this diagram here. So Durdle Door is found between Swanage and Weymouth. Here the arch was formed when less resistant rock was eroded by processes 
like hydraulic action and abrasion. Durdle Door originally started life as a headland with a crack. But due to things like we've already spoken about, such as hydraulic power and abrasion, as well as weathering, the crack grew bigger and became a cave. And then continuous weathering and erosion meant that the back of the cave was eroded. And when it broke through to the other side, it formed an arch. Now that arch is the one that we can see in the picture here that I've drawn another circle around. That's what we call Durdle Door. Now if we think years ahead, what's likely to happen to Durdle Door? Well, the top of the arch here is still going to experience weathering. There's still going to be erosion taking place. So eventually in the future, Durdle Door is likely to become a stack and then a stump, a bit like old Harry. So if we zoom out, we've looked at three major landforms that have resulted because of erosion and deposition along the Dorset coastline. I hope you found this video helpful.